Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC and I want to talk about clamping. I offer or designed a series of clamps, um, everything from lever clamps, which is my very first product, to these toe clamps, which range in size from one inch all the way down to a quarter or an, an eighth inch thick. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use each of these on various size stock uh, so we can understand exactly the best way to clamp it down. I am using a modified Myers uh, wasteboard. So if you have a Myers wasteboard, perfectly fine. This will work great for your situation. I've also shared and will be sharing more my own uh, design of the wasteboard. Essentially, it's going to be four quadrant, uh, doubling the number of holes uh, that the Myers board has got. So that it gives me a little more options when clamping down. And that's what I'm going to be demonstrating on here is a prototype two. I will, uh, I've got my profile up on Cut Rocket, so you can access that and download any of those files. I've also got version one. Um, the main difference between the two versions is one has hammer in inserts, version two has the screw in inserts. All right, to get started, if you purchase my uh, toe clamps, you will, or even print them, um, you will need some screws and, you know, something to hold it down. Now, this is plastic, so you will want. Uh, washers. Uh, an option in my store is the three quarter inch quarter by 20 screws. Just put the screw right through or the washer right through the screw, put the, the toe clamp right there and drop it down in and then screw down your stock. Um, I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. If you are using my lever clamps, you're going to want, and you can run out to any box store, they should have them. Amazon has them. Um, it is cheaper just buy it elsewhere and not and try to get me to source it. It's very hard to get these sourced for some reason. But you will want um, obviously the quarter inch or the quarter by 20 uh, washers as well as a variety of um, screws, uh, screw length specifically. You know, I've got everything from one inch all the way up to two inch. Of course, I've got the three quarter inch, which came, or which I you optionally include with the uh, toe clamps. And my fences actually come with um, 5 8 inch uh, quarter by 20 screws. Most people usually don't have this small, so that's why I include them with the fences. The optional uh, 3 quarter inch screws are for the toe clamps because you do need shorter screws for the toe clamps. But for the uh, lever clamps, you will need a lot longer screws. So let's get started. I will switch over and we'll use a couple various um, stock sizes and we'll clamp that down. Okay, the very first stock that we're gonna uh, clamp down is a very thin, these are coasters. I picked them up off from Amazon. I'm gonna burn some images and such onto them. Um, but in this case, we're gonna clamp it down really hard for carving ideas. So this thing is about 2.7 millimeters thick, super, super skinny, super thin. Um, so we're just going to set that right into my fence. I've taken a square and lined up my fences. So any stock that I set in here would obviously come right back up to this point here, which I've configured on my router as X00 or XY00. So the, with this thin of a clamp or this thin of a material, we're going to use the eighth inch toe clamps. So in fact, we're going to use the skinny part of the, the even smaller part of the eighth inch toe clamps. And we're gonna take our uh, three quarter inch screws with our washer, drop it down in there. And if I kept it handy, my, tighten it down. It doesn't need to be too, th uh, too tight. This will hold it in place. Um, and in fact, it's holding it pretty well. Obviously I can wiggle it because I only have two on there. I can take a second toe clamp. Ideally, you should have two toe clamps um, of each size, uh, just in case, you know, if you cut a variety of things like I do. If you don't, um, well, two is still recommended. It's almost the minimum in my opinion, but we've got two down. Um, this is a very small piece, so there's not really a need for anything more. Um, I'll set the lever clamps aside, won't need those, but this piece is not going anywhere. For extra security, I could put a, if I had 
you know, four ideally of each size would be probably be the best. If you tend to cut into your clamps or accidentally get too close up to the edge when you're carving, you may carve into these. So it may actually be good to have like six of these on hand, but um, three would probably be perfect on here. You could place another one on here. In fact, you can even have, if you have the quarter inch, you could have, if I, I had my screws available, they're down there. Um, I could put another one on here, uh, just use this skinnier portion. Um, but keeping in mind that the clamp is now, uh, if I use a bigger clamp, it has a higher profile, which would be above my stocks. So let's switch over to something a little thicker. All right, so we're using a 3 h inch acrylic, and we're actually gonna use the half inch uh, toe clamps. The, what I'm after, whenever I choose which toe clamp size to use, is I take my stock, set my toe clamp right onto it, and the distance between the bottom, <laughs> the bottom surface of the toe clamp and of the, surf, of the toe clamp and the bottom surface of the stock, there should be a tiny gap. Um, that's basically the gap that you're going to be tightening into. So whenever you tighten down the clamp, that's where the clamp is basically going to go is into that little gap. So just a tiny gap. It doesn't need to be a lot, um, but it does need to be there so that these things have enough pressure um, and the angle and such to get that down. So we're going to use the same three quarter inch um, length screws, put those down in there. And the same here. And if you notice, I've kind of designed my fences, basically everything to kind of work together nicely. And specifically, I've got my corner up here, which has my um, corner fence. Then I've got two fences on either side. Um, actually, let me just let me set. Looks like I tightened it down too soon. So I've got two fences, on, long fences on either side. And in between, I have at least one or more um, screw areas, uh, screw holes, which I can screw down clamps. Specifically, these toe clamps, which were designed primarily for this exact use case, uh, where it's got a limited uh, distance between the end of the machine or the end of your stock or your wasteboard or your spoil board and your stock. Now the lever clamps, we're gonna use a little bit longer screws and we're gonna come in from the side and really choosing between which end of the lever clamp I choose, it really depends on what I'm cutting. If I'm gonna be coming way up to the edge of the stock with my bit, um, I'm gonna to wanna to have the end of my clamp a little further away so that I don't cut into the clamp. Um, it, if you cut into it, it doesn't hurt anything, but it doesn't mean I wanna constantly be buying or reprinting um, more of these clamps. Um, I'd like these things to last a little while, and if you notice, this thing's really dirty. So I've, <laughs> this has gone through quite a few uh, cuts. But when I have my lever clamp, uh, my slider piece is right in here in the middle, and I can slide it to wherever I need to, which is over a hole, drop in my screw, and I can tighten it down. It looks like my screw is a little long. I need a slightly shorter one. So, let's make that happen. There we go. Now what I'm after is about a half inch or a quarter inch uh, just above whenever I drop this in and it hits the screw top of the threads on the threaded inserts. But whenever I tighten that down, it's got to have that, any gap means it's how much it's got to grip the insert itself. And we don't want to damage the inserts. But once I've got it in, it makes contact with the surface of the washer here, then I can do a quarter or a half or even a full turn, and that's enough. Um, this stock is not going anywhere. You don't need to tighten these down, over tighten these down. Just just enough, a half turn, once, you, once the screw comes down, makes contact, half or a, or a full turn, and you're done. Same thing with the other side. Let's switch over to a smaller bolt. And of course, I've got my variety pack there. It's always handy to keep those available. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna have a nice even spread of your clamps across your uh, stock. Now you don't need too many. Four is usually enough for almost every situation. Um, 
unless of course your stock is really large. Like I've got uh, the acrylic for the boot. Um, whenever I cut that, that is what 18 inches by I believe 24 inches. So I put like six or seven uh, of these uh, small toe clamps all the way around the perimeter. Sometimes I'll switch over to lever clamps. It's pretty rare because this the lever clamps are really for thicker stock, not really for super thin stock. Um, but I'll have a bunch of those around the corner. And even when I'm cutting those boots, I even go one step further now. Um, after doing some research, you can probably find it in the Shapoko group. Um, I actually put a bunch of holes in and I screw down actual screws right through the acrylic to hold down the center of the acrylic. Because obviously when you're holding down the edges, the top or the middle may bow depending on how big your stock is, especially with that uh, flexible acrylic. Wood, it's less so, but you get the idea. The extra holes in my prototypes, um, in my version of the waste of the spoil board, um, provides all kinds of options when screwing these down. So the screws made contact, full turn, and done. This stock is not going anywhere. Okay, here we are. I've got a sm very small piece of two by four. Uh, actually, this is looking like a two by six, but uh, it's an inch and a half thick. We're gonna set that down in there. Now, obviously my one inch toe clamps isn't going to hit that anywhere near, near what it needs. So I've got a couple of spare pieces here, uh, little wedges. I'm gonna put that right up against the back side of the toe clamp. So we're gonna have the stock, we're gonna have the screw, and we're gonna have a little wedge to kind of lift up the back end of that toe clamp. And the idea is we want the screw as far away from the surface, the cutting surface and the bit because obviously that's the strongest part of this clamp. And the, that's why we've got the, uh, the little channel here. It sets down in there real deep. And I'm gonna set that in there. And now, this is another reason why you ought to have longer screws. Now, the included three quarter inch, uh, optionally included three quarter inch um, screws definitely won't handle this situation. And I'll switch over, let's get a little closer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we are real close. You can see I've got my, the, the three quarter inch long screws. Obviously they are definitely not going to reach the um, inserts in the surface. So we're gonna switch over instead to some longer screws, which of course I keep on stock because of my lever clamps. Drop that in and just like with the lever clamps, it's got a slight gap in between the washer, the clamp, and the head of the screw as it's hitting the threads. And of course I tighten that in till it touches and then maybe a half inch tighter. And you could probably see there was a little bit of flex there. It is pulling down um, and that stock is definitely secure. Now with this small of a piece, I can come in from this other side and it looks like something real close is gonna be perfect. Now, this is a temporary thing, but just like before, I've got my little stock piece here um, coming from the backside, and I'm gonna go without the washer. Um, this is gonna be rare, because the washer does spread the pulling force of your screw. It spreads it over a larger surface and we want that larger surface because the toe clamp, you can twist or screw your screw down right through this plastic. It's meant to be cut easily um, with your bit so it doesn't damage it. So that's exactly why I include the washers um, with that optional addition of the three quarter inch screws. But even with these things, you're gonna want a washer to help spread the load or to spread the surface so that it doesn't damage your inserts of, on your clamps here. Now, of course, we have one of the toe clamps in there. I'm gonna switch over to a lever clamp and you'll notice there's a really large um, line there. Of course, I guess you can't see that. Let me scoot over a little. Now, you can see we've got a pretty long gap here and this is where I added the additional screws um, the Myers waste board comes with the two by two screws. I've added an interlaced two by two. So I have 
one, two, three, four. There's two standard ones, and then I offset everything by an inch, um, and that gives me additional set of screws that I can use. And that's exactly what I need in this situation. I need probably one of my longest screws, which I believe is two inches. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a back, a uh, little something I can grab onto. Wow, <laughs> apparently I'm gonna need something even longer. <laughs> but you get the idea. I, I guess I need some more uh, longer screws. I usually don't cut stock this thick. But the longer screws help you grab in and snag on to that insert in there. The more holes make it a lot easier. And the toe clamps, you'll notice in a variety of situations, they are perfect. Um, you'll notice here, even though I can't use my, my lever clamp, I can use my toe clamps. If I just get another thin piece here, I could put another one over here. And that would hold perfectly. So hopefully you found that helpful and hopefully it wasn't too long winded. <laughs> but make sure you have at least two toe or lever clamps. Uh, they're extremely handy. Um, even four for just to give you a couple extras. Really you only need two for most situations or at least most situations I've run into. Uh, make sure um, if, if you decide to go with the whole complete Pwn CNC clamp idea, uh, make sure you pick up a set of fences. Those are extremely handy. Some people pick up the two sets just in case they cut into them, and I've had various examples of that in the past. Make sure you pick up at least two toe clamps of each size um, that you're going to cut the most. So if most of the time you're cutting half-inch material, you probably only need a couple of half-inch uh, toe clamps, but if you switch over to something smaller, you're going to want some smaller uh, toe clamps for that smaller material. And if you're like me and just cut a variety of things, uh, get two of everything, <laughs> just so you can have some backups, or at least a minimum. Um, get four of everything, in fact, just so you can have some backups. Um, I encourage you to get a 3D printer. These are not the last things I'm going to be inventing and I will share all of my models uh, up there on Thingiverse. Yeah, hopefully you found this helpful, um, and reach out on the Pwn CNC users group. I'd glad to hear from you. Um, happy making.